Hello and welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a home educating mum of three from the UK. And today we're going to do a um, kind of a three month um, curriculum review. Obviously I did a curriculum review um, back in the summer about what I was kind of looking at, what books I'd been looking at, um, but mainly English and maths. Um, and someone asked me specifically about what I'm using, whether they're for the whole year and that sort of thing. So I thought I would just do um, a kind of a catch up because we have changed um, what we're doing. Like we did change books. So um, in my last video, I talked about um, what books we were using, the fact that we were using the good and the beautiful um, language arts curriculum for both Charles and Bessie. And Charles was working at like a grade two um, year two year three level and Bessie is working at a kindergarten slash grade one year one reception kind of level like kind of in between um because obviously we're home educating we don't have to follow a school year or you know there's no you have to finish grade one by this point or whatever you know we go by their ability and um and that's it so I was doing I, the only thing we we haven't um we have, so we changed our language arts or our English. Um, we have we had originally said we were going to do Brain Quest, and then we found the Good and the Beautiful, and the and Charles and Bessie just didn't like it. Like it was really <sighs> whimsical <laughs> in a lot of ways. Like it felt really whimsical, and it felt really I call it like fluffy bunny or airy fairy. Like just it didn't suit my very serious children. Um, and we also, there were some bits in there that we just weren't, we just didn't love and they just found it really boring and like there's no, nothing against the good and the beautiful, I think it might work for some children, I think the kindergarten would work for Ch for Albert, like starting straight away with it, but um, it's certainly, it's just, they just found it really boring. So we went back to Brain Quest and Charles is doing Brain Quest level two and as you can see, quite well thumbed. Um, he has just finished the first section, so the first section is all phonics with language arts and he's just finished that. He's been doing two pages a day quite nicely, we've had some time off. Um, but it's amazing on how quickly like his handwriting has changed. Um, I'll give you some examples of how... So this is at the beginning you can see him writing in some letters there and then this is him doing something similar um, a little while later and just how doing it every day and doing a similar kind of stuff has really neatened his handwriting um, and made him really try harder so now he's moving on to spelling and vocabulary that's what he's on um, now and he's done a page and that and again you can see the difference in the handwriting of his um, there so I'm really pleased with how well he's going on and I've certainly noticed um, him being able to spell better and write better and just without even realising that he can do it. So I would certainly um, certainly recommend these books. Um, he has got all that he's got about this to do. So this chunk of language arts to do and I will just um, assess him after that point and then move him on to grade three which is what we next um, and just keep keep going um, yeah so that's that's that that's what he's been doing he's really enjoying it and really likes it and as it says it's a whole year of curriculum based exercises and activities um, aligns with the American National Common Core Standards, so it's pretty, it's not bad, it's not bad at all. Um, Bessie, again, she went on to Brain Quest as well and is doing the level K. Um, at the moment, she's just working on her letters and her letter formation, so um, she knows her alphabet and she is learning to read, but I just wanted to kind of go over all of the letters and stuff with her and things like that so you've got like the letter b there and then the next page is like you get a puzzle with the letter and then the next page is the handwriting um she's really enjoying it it's not hardcore for her it's like just you know really gently introducing her into things and um, she's just done 
F. She's moving on to G. She's just slowly working through the ABCs, like just getting the writing together. And then we'll move on to phonics with this, um, recognizing the sounds. She, again, she knows all her sounds. She can read, she's learning to read, but I'm just making sure that we're getting through. Then we're gonna start with tricky words, with sight words um, and writing those and um, kind of go from and go through it go through it from there so um so that's what that's what she's up to um and that is again that is going to be all year we just keep working through it um i will do like assessments with them um i actually go on to the school run website and on the school run they have autumn spring and summer assessments mainly for school children but if you do them at the right level that you're working towards, they do give you some insight. And I will do the autumn term one in the next couple of weeks for each child, um, just to see where they are and um, and how and you know what we need to do. Something I'll just, um, add links in them to the script. Yeah, I can't talk today. Add links to them in the description. Um, we haven't changed maths. We kept with maths. Um, I was doing power maths reception maths with Bessie she was bored out of her mind and um I was like okay let's try this one um and she's zooming through it like absolutely zooming through it so it was clearly the right decision and yeah she's actually really enjoying it and it just shows that her ability is like I haven't done much with her apart from very basic stuff and stuff that she's played on the tablet. And this just shows that she's already knows loads of it. She, she's not, she's not finding it difficult. I reckon there's certain areas she could probably boost up to um, the same grade that Charles is on right now. Um, Charles is, is going, he's doing really, really well. He's probably, I think he's almost halfway through now. Yeah, he's about halfway through. Um, his level two, his year two book. Um, I'm glad we went back and kind of took him down level and went back through because there were certain, there are gaps that he hadn't got the hang of the first time round. Um, and there are other things that he's now being taught easier ways to work things out that other books hadn't taught him. So um, just easier addition and subtraction techniques that for example they weren't what I learned when I was at school and they weren't what the other books that he'd had were teaching him um, and he's now just like boom 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 and I'm now getting to a point where I can just give him and say okay this is what you're doing and if it's the second or third lesson in the unit I can just let him get on with it and he's getting it right um, with minimal help like with like sometimes I have to read it to him and to make sure he's understanding what he has to do but he yeah he's doing really really well with that um, we haven't done a lot of science since we started this kind of new um, grade, this new year, school year, um, just because we've just I've just been doing a massive declutter of the house and I haven't wanted to do any science experiments and make more mess that I need when I'm trying to declutter and do stuff like that. Um, we have been given a MEL science box to do um, as part of a pay promotion, which I'm really excited about. They've also given me an affiliate link, which again is very exciting. So we will be doing that um, probably um, next week, I think is probably when we will do that. Um, that's gonna be me and Charles. So you get to see Charles again, which will be fun. He's really excited to show it to you and to do the um, experiments. Like he's super excited. When it arrived, he could barely contain himself. Um, they've got like VR head headset and everything. Like it's all really, really cool. Um, that's gonna be really exciting. But I have, um, I've linked a book in the description that I'm going to buy because I want to see what it's like. And it's, you know, um, kind of, I think it's like f every every four or five lessons you do a science experiment based on the unit and I think that that's um, really what we're going to be looking at kind of do work building up excuse me building up to an experiment and then do the experiment and then move on I think that's what I want to get started on I'm going to put them both on grade one because we haven't done a lot of like um, hands-on science this year um, like in the last kind of 12 months really just because of covid and before that like before covid it was all christmas and birthdays and everything and it just hasn't we just haven't done very much so that's what i'm going to do is work on this workbook again it's an american curriculum they really are 
loads better um, just because they're more available and there's just not curriculums built for home educated kids in the UK. Um, I would love for that to be and I would love to kind of make that happen so it was a full curriculum like these. Um, yeah, I would really like to make that happen at some point in my life because I feel like it's just missing. It's just not there. Um, I would definitely recommend these. I will, I think I will be using Power Maths. We'll be using Power Maths from now on. Um, we love the books. A lot of the bits I've just been able to teach him. I haven't had to use the textbook, but there's other bits when I've been like, well, that's not how I learned it at school. And then I've gone to the textbook, read through the textbook and gone, oh yeah, okay, yeah, I understand what they're trying to do here and um, been able to you know then explain to him um it explains it in a really good way i feel like i know that i started to struggle with maths um in year four because my parents were getting divorced and i just stopped trying and i kind of fell through the cracks at school so i feel like i can it's it's all laid out in a format that i'm going to be able to get the books i'm going to be able to look through them in like our um in our in our like in our break time when you know in our holiday the holidays that we take like over the summer for example um i can sit and work through the books myself and go oh yeah 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 when we get to the points where you know i am not great at remembering um and i'm not gonna need phil to do it all i'm quite um confident that because of the way these books are set out that i'm gonna be able to teach it and explain it to him um, and the same with Bessie, so um, I will show you the science book, as I said I'll link in the description the science book that we're going to go through and then hopefully we'll do a video on it at some point soon, um, just to kind of show you the things that we're getting up to. Uh, my video on Thursday will be about uh, block scheduling and how I fit in all of their education as well as homemaking and you know a domestic engineer is how I like to call it. Um, how I how I fit everything in to my day. Um, I use block scheduling, and I'm going to talk about that in Thursday's video. So uh, have a great week, and I will see you on Thursday. Bye.